Good morning and welcome to HTML5. We are going to see how to regroup elements in containers. So, we can regroup elements in containers. There are several tags. Including here we have our list. So we can imagine that it would be a navigation. And the navigation part with several links, for example. For that, for it to be a navigation, it would be enough to add the NAV tag. It is a container. So we would put it like this and it would be our navigation. We also have the header tag and the footer tag. So as you can imagine, the header tag will represent the header and the top of your site. And the footer tag, the footer and the bottom of your site. So we can imagine here that we have our header. which would take into consideration our title and it could be very well. For example, um, an image with a logo or whatever. We say that we have our header here and we will all simply make a tabulation so that it's more readable. And we will add our footer. So often in our footer we find, for example, the copyright or the page, the links of contact, um, social networks, etc. So there we can very well put, for example, our copyright in the P tag, and we would write copyright like this. And we could also put the contact here. We also have our main tag, which will contain the body of the site, the main part. We can imagine that our main tag contains all our paragraphs. So I will put my tag here and it will close at the end of all my paragraphs. In the same way, I have my article tag. The article tag can, for example, if you have an e-commerce site, well, for each article, you can have the article tag. Here, we will put our tag article and we will say that all the paragraphs here represents an article. So we will put it here. Control V. We also have the section tag and the aside tag. The side tag will be used more for an element that is part of the body of your site. But that is not necessarily important information. So we will use the aside tag. For example, then here we had put a nota bene, and I can very well put the uh, a side tag like this. So I'm going to put a tabulation that it's more readable, and we also have our section tag. We can imagine, for example. That is would be a section. And so this case will group together elements. So I'm going to define it here. And I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to make a tabulation so that it is more readable. So we have seen the header tag, footer, NAV, the article, the section, and the site. 
We can also have several tags, for example, header or footer. Finally, we will see the tag a div. So the tag div will be used only if you didn't have the opportunity to use the tags that we have just seen. It has no particular meaning. It is used as a last resort to regroup elements. You can imagine that I need to group together these elements and then I will put a div tag here. I will put the closing tag just below it and I will put a tabulation so that is more readable. So here we are for the different tags that we use as a containers. Mm -hmm.